Dear students, today we are going to study the reproduction in bacteria. Bacteria have two kinds of reproduction. One is asexual and another is sexual. But the truest form of reproduction in bacteria is asexual kind of reproduction, whereas the so-called sexual reprodu reproduction is not the true method of sex uh, reproduction. Today we are going to take up asexual reproduction in bacteria. They reproduce asexually by different modes. The first one is binary fission, which uh, all of these uh, methods you need to remember. The first one is binary fission. Uh, it is the simplest method of asexual reproduction and it is most commonly it is found it is uh, it happens in the favorable conditions when the conditions are uh, very conducive for the uh, survival of the bacteria the, the bacteria takes this course of reproduction in the binary fission the cell first elongates the nucleoid it gets replicated as you can see in the picture at the topmost you can see the bacterial cell and uh, the nucleoid which is attached to the plasma membrane this bacterial cell it elongates and it the replication of the genophore it gets initiated the nucleoid gets replicated and you can see in the third picture uh, on your right side that the nucleoid has started replicating and at the bottom you can see the replicated nucleoid that means it is ready to be distributed that these two are ready to be distributed and in the leftmost part you can see the um, formation of cell wall has begun and the replicated nucleoid, uh, nucleoid had migrated to the newer formed cells so this is how uh, the process of binary fission is accomplished that the first cell bacterial cell first gets elongated then the nuclear material or the nucleo nucleoid it gets replicated and when the two uh, nucleoids uh, they come into existence they are distributed in the uh, daughter cells uh, there is one thing uh, defici deficit in this process is that uh, this in this is uh, slightly different from mitosis because there is no spindle formation when you know that when no spindle is formed there remains an uncertainty in the equidistribution of the genetic material. In the first year, when we had studied the cell division, the equal distribution of the chromosomes in the daughter cell was ensured by the formation of spindle. One binary fission takes about 20 to 30 minutes time. That means whenever bacteria they infect our body, one bacteria converts into two bacteria in just 20 minutes. So the first one was binary fission, then the next one is budding. This is also a simple method of reproduction. The bud gets filled with cytoplasm and other uh, inclusions of the cytoplasm like membrane bound uh, uh, vesicles they move inside the bud later a constriction gets developed and uh, further this uh, constriction deepens and the bud gets separated from the parent cell the example uh, is hypomicrobium uh, vulgari and rhizobium vanilla these they reproduce asexually by budding so first one is uh, binary fission the second one is budding the third one is through the formation of conidia 
Conidia are nothing but a chain of small spherical spore-like uh, forms and these uh, occur in filamentous bacteria like Streptomyces and when these uh, spherical uh, spore-like conidia they get liberated each conidium gives rise to new filamentous bacteria so three modes again revise uh, binary fission, conid budding and conidia formation. Conidia formation happens in filamentous bacteria. Then cyst formation. Bacteria also reproduce asexually by formation of cyst and the example is azetobacter. Then comes the endospore formation. Mainly it is exhibited by gram-positive bacilli. Endospore formation is actually not the mode of asexual uh, mode of reproduction. In fact, it is the uh, phenomena of perination or survival of the bacterial cell. In the endospore formation, um, the an intracellular resting cell uh, different from cyst in the sense that only a part of original cell is being utilized in their formation uh, and this kind of uh, uh, endospore is formed in bacilli for example sarcina uh, what i wanted to convey this is the uh, diagram of endospore and what I wanted to convey you is that this is the bacterial cell at the bottom most uh, as pictured in the uh, figure 17 which is written in the slide at the bottom most part. The cell you can cite the cell A. This is the vegetative cell and it has nuclear material uh, laid in the cytoplasm. <coughs> then uh, at the one end, there initiates the formation of transfer wall. And you can see there develops a constriction which is called a spore primordium. The round st rounded structure at the rightmost part in figure number 6 uh, uh, C in figure number 17 you can see the spore primordium which contains some part um, which uh, contains the genome of uh, replicated genome of bacteria <clears throat> now uh, you can see the furrow deepens and there forms a complete transverse wall the uh, new wall is formed around the endospore this is uh, in the d you can see at the right part uh, right hand side the spore is formed and uh, in, in the number e you can see a wall, new wall forms around the endospore so uh, this is how uh, the endospore is formed and the bacteria get uh, broken up and the spore is released outside so you can easily deduce from the procedure that this, this is not the process of multiplication. In fact, it is the matter of survival or perination of bacteria in the adverse condition. Now you also need to remember the structure of spore. Sometimes it is asked in the examination that draw the structure of endospore in bacteria the outermost wall is called as exosporium and inside the exosporium we have outer coat layer and beneath the outer coat layer you can see we have inner coat layer uh, following inner coat layer we have cortex then uh, we have core wall and beneath the core wall we have plasma membrane and inside the plasma membrane we have 
the DNA which is genome, ribosomes and tRNA. So this is the structure of the endospore. Now uh, they are oval in shape, spherical or larger than the normal vegetative cell. Uh, whenever uh, the normal cell is in active phase of growth, they never undergo uh, this mode of reproduction which is called as endospore formation. This type of method is expressed only when the bacterial cell is in stationary phase when nutrients are limited and somewhat uh, troubling conditions are presented to the bacteria the endospore formation process is underwent here the protein gets converted to spore proteins and the endospore do not show any detectable metabolism but whenever the favorable conditions they do come the spore has the capacity to germinate and it is very very stubborn in the sense that it is highly resistant to heat, ultraviolet rays or toxic chemicals. Whenever favorable conditions they come, uh, the spore wall imbibes water and the coats get ruptured and the bacterial cell, new bacterial cell, it comes into existence. So uh, these these are the method of asexual reproduction in the bacteria. Uh, let us revise binary fission. The nucleoid get uh, replicated and the both of them they are equally distributed in the daughter cells. The first is uh, first process is elongation, then replication of nucleoid, then equal distribution of nucleoid, then formation of cell wall, and separate formation of two daughter cells uh, is the part of the are the part of the procedure in binary fission. Budding small bird, um, birds filled with cytoplasm formed and some of the inclusions of the uh, cytoplasm migrates to these birds and later constriction develops and the bird gets separated from the parent cell. This is the method of budding. Then third one is conidia. These conidia formation occurs in filamentous bacteria like streptomyces and after liberation from the parent body, each conidium gives rise to new filamentous bacterium. Another one is uh, formation of cyst. This is to do away with the unfavorable condition and also the next procedure which is endospore formation displayed by gram positive bacteria. This is also not the truest method of reproduction. It is also the method of uh, perination or the survival in the unfavorable condition. And bacteria never produce uh, endospore when it is in active phase of growth and when it is starved of nutrition or unfavorable conditions surrounds the bacteria, the uh, bacterial cell undergoes the process of endospore formation. The endospore has such a uh, structure that it cons consists of outer exosporium. Uh, uh, then following outer exos outermost exosporium, we have outer coat layer, then inner coat layer, then we have cortex following cortex is cell wall then cell membrane and we have the cytoplasmic material in form of a nucleoid the tRNA and 70s type of ribosome when the unfavorable condition they do come the this spore germinates and forms the new cell so you can easily perceive that this is not the method of repro reproduction but it is the method of survival of an from the unfavorable conditions 
these spores are highly resistant to uh, heat ultraviolet rays and toxic chemicals so dear students this is all about uh, the asexual reproduction in bacteria in the upcoming lecture we will take up the sexual mode of reproduction in bacteria and uh, let me tell you at the end of this lecture that uh, that is not the truest form of reproduction in bacteria and in bacteria we have three kinds of uh, uh, actually it is the method of recombination and we have three procedures uh, which we will be studying in the uh, ensuing lectures such as uh, transduction, transformation, etc. So, this is all for uh, uh, all in asexual mode of reproduction in bacteria. Thank you very much.